We had a big storm yesterday and it made a mess of things. The pool's all full of leaves. So I'm gonna use the remote control hydro net boat to clean the leaves up out of the pool. This makes this chore a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and get this thing in the water and I'll show you how it works. It's got a pool net right here that goes on the front in these brackets. And then it's got these rollers here so that if you bump up against the uh, pool wall, it won't, it won't bang, it'll just kind of roll off to the side so it doesn't damage anything. And if you do break it, this is replaceable. You could take this front piece off. It's got an antenna here. And then it's got two motors. And then this is the battery case in here. And it's got the little guy on here. You just turn this switch on right here to on. I did a mod here. I added a uh, GoPro mount there. So we'll put the GoPro on there. That'll be pretty cool. All right, we'll go ahead and put this in the water and I'll show you how it works. Then you got a remote control here. Turn that to on. Then that turns that motor. And that turns that motor. You go forward. And you can go reverse. Yeah, the hydro net's the way to go. This thing's a lot of fun. You just speed over to where all the leaves are and you just pick them right up with the hydro net. Pretty cool. This hydro net's been a pretty good boat. I've had it for a couple years and I haven't had any problems with the boat itself. The only problem I had was with the batteries that came with it. They didn't last very long. So we ended up getting some aftermarket batteries that work a lot better. These things actually have a red light on them and a USB charger. So you just charge it right up and then the red light will be blinking the whole time you're charging it. And then when it's done charging, the light will turn off and so you'll know it's ready to go. The aftermarket ones probably last twice as long, which makes a difference if you're out here cleaning the pool. You don't want it to die halfway through. That's no fun. As far as the boat itself, I mean, it's plastic. But uh, other than that, it's pretty durable plastic. Haven't had any problems with that. The only problem I've had is those little motors on there. Is if you run over some uh, weeds or some twigs or something sometimes, if they're really stringy, they can get stuck on the propeller. And then it, it'll jam it up and you'll have to take it out of the water and clean off the debris off the propeller. But other than that, I've had a lot of fun with it. I mean, it's not super fast. We're not breaking any speed records with it or anything, but it's still a lot of fun to drive. Is it necessary? I don't know. I mean, you could probably do a better job with a, with a pole and a pool net. But then again, I mean, who's to say that fun isn't necessary? And this hydro net is a lot of fun.